Um, my name is John Mark Ryan Dale, and I'm the Evening Access Services Supervisor at East Carolina University's Music Library. Today, I want to talk briefly about signage. Signage is an art. Chuckle, chuckle, right? I am not saying these signs are bad or unnecessary, but I question, are these signs useful to the individuals walking into the library? Our challenge was to evaluate our signage to determine if it was actually useful to our patrons. Our signage was too numerous, often aggressive in its messaging, and outdated. We needed to ask ourselves, do we see what our patrons see? First, we wanted to address some problems that plague most libraries. Since the visual landscape of a smaller library can become oversaturated very easily, in our space, we had too many signs. Having outdated or aggressive signage needed to go. And lastly, we wanted to use resources available to us in-house because the idea was to soothe, not bruise, our budget. So, we began by looking through best practices for signage as well as consulting best practices within UX design. UX stands for user experience and involves understanding what our users need. We also needed to figure out what tools we had available for creating signage, as well as ensuring changes we made were cost effective. The goal of this project was to simplify the visual environment while also improving the students' experiences because simplicity and design wins every time. Uh, yes, the ducks. <laughs> UX or user experience principles ended up being a major influence on this project. UX for Beginners by Joel Marsh features an example of black and white ducks in a row to illustrate a core concept of UX design, namely that our eyes focus on the duck that stands out. The image inspired us to maximize a science potential and visibility by minimizing the surroundings around it. Here is a common sight at most libraries, range markers with black writing on white background with music classification being M, ML, and MT, can be difficult to know where a section begins or ends. By flipping the color scheme, the contrast on the range marker is easier to read and the signage <laughs> itself becomes easier to see. By designating call number ranges in different colors, students found it easier to locate the Ms and MLs in our stacks. Observe the hanging signs. Multiple signs describe an area. Music stacks start here, and then music stacks right next to it. Why? White with light gray background is hard to see in this type of lighting. Also notice the range markers, the endless white dots going down the aisle. Here you can see we removed the signs. We applied music stacks lettering to an existing structure the most prominent bookcase in the library. The black lettering is easier to see against the gray. It was also printed on vinyl, a resource available to us at our main library. As mentioned before, we utilize color, contrasting colors for our range markers, so it is now more obvious to notice where a section begins. My favorite. <laughs> We've all seen this type of signage. It's aggressive, it also looks cheaply made, and visually bland, <laughs> yeah. So here, you can see that while the language is still forceful, the delivery is gentler within the new aesthetic of the sign. Adding a thank you at the end is another way to help avoid overly aggressive language. We also decided to mask the signage with the color palette of the door. Lastly, we invested in digital signage digital picture frame with images and videos displaying as a slideshow. Patrons are more likely to notice information on these screens than paper signage. Plus, it reduces the number of signs posted around your library. This was an investment, since we're talking about effective cost solutions for us, but these frames can cost 80 to $150. The results have been fantastic for us. So, our results. By revamping our signage, we saw immediate results. 
We notice our space improved by simplifying and reducing the visual noise. We observed changes in students' behavior and how they interacted with the library space. And lastly, we could see our students were more confident in finding materials. We are always trying new ways to improve our students' life because in the end, we are setting them up for success and not distress. So here's a, a great couple examples of books that uh, I would highly recommend if you have a picture, if you want to take a shot. Um, I can also send them to you via email. Um, yeah. Thank you so much.